Hello guys and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3, a game of thrones where we are playing as a Lord Stannis Baratheon of the Dragonstone. Yes indeed. Uh, we're in quite an interesting situation here um, where quite possibly Joffrey may not be of true and pure blood as Jamie is hanging around in the King's Guard. Um, an aversion to joy by chopping down this tree. Now, I want to be awed by beauty. Because if there's one thing we know about Stannis, he's just such a, a lovely guy who loves uh, beauty. Totally. <laughs> so, yes, we have some, uh, we have our properties here in Dragonstone. Uh, I did have a look, I believe, last session, and it was ju just takes so long to convert the culture. You know, we're looking at years, 47 years, to convert the culture from High Valyrian. So we are, I think, going to... We're going to let it stay at that amount. Yes, we have our uh, twins, our, our twin boys, uh, Edwin and Stefan. Uh, Stefan, the only one who got the Hail trait. Uh, both of their mother, Alessan of House Blackwood. Of course, House Blackwood. Everybody loves House Blackwood. People won't stop talking about House Blackwood. <laughs> but uh, having these two boys already means that, theoretically, we are in a stronger position than uh, Stannis was in the show. Uh, in terms of our future. However, I don't... Who knows? It may, things may not uh, end up going that way for us. There's definitely a lot of ways that um, things can play out here. Uh, how's Renly doing right now? Renly should be. He's 11 years old. So he is... He's growing in age. He's already charming. Forgiving, compassionate, and temperate. He's got three uh, things that why people love him. <laughs> Whereas Stannis has nobody who likes him because he's Stannis. That's okay. We're gonna we're gonna help Stannis out here. Hmm. What do I do? I feel like because I'm just, I'd tell my son off, even though he is my son. You know. Kind of just the man Stannis is. So we don't have anything to build with yet. Ah. Oh! We've, we've progressed into having true Stannis hair. Yes. The DNA has kicked in. Uh, <laughs> he's grown out his beard. And in growing out his beard, his hair's fucked off. Yeah, you, the, you reach a point where the characters start to shift into their like full DNA versions. Uh, especially the younger ones at game start. So and Eddard will also slightly change. Yeah, we, we're turning into actual Stannis now. Gotta love that hair. I've gained the skill fighter. Skilled fighter, indeed. It takes me up to 32. I could, I, I could host a grand tournament, but that's so much money that we're absolutely never going to be able to afford that. Because that's kind of the, our problem, is that we, we earn an okay amount of money, but really, like, not a great amount. We, we, we want to be earning a lot more than this if we want to make an impact, because we also don't have an army. Like, we are a... Do I want to go on a hunt? Where's Lord Owain? Or Owen? It's not that far, right? It might be interesting to go on a hunt. I think I think we'll go on a hunt. Uh, Stannis needs to fill the time. I could pay 70... F I mean, it's going to put me in debt, right? But that's fucking... Come on, I have to. A Valyrian steel sword. Bruh. Yes. <laughs> uh, do I want to trample Robert? Sure. No, I'm, I'm going to bring him in the bring him in the fray. Soon. Uh, let's equip this Westerosi Valyrian steel sword. Uh, now we're going to have to think about a name for it. What would Stannis Baratheon name his Valerian Steel Sword? Obviously, if this was Lord of Fire Stannis, that would be very different. Because, you know, we may be looking at 
Lightbringer or, or, or any, all of these different names that we could have here. But I I don't know what because I don't know if we're going to take a path of being a um, of going with the Mother of Light. I don't know, there's something about it that, to me, doesn't make sense for Stannis yet. Stannis mostly did it for, uh, well, there's a there's a plenty of reasons he does so, but in his opinion, uh, having that god on his side legitimizes him even more so in a way. Not that he needs any more legitimization, because he's Stannis, and he thinks everything is perfect, and he is incredible. Do you maybe not want to rise up against me, please? Mm. Let's give Prince Duran of Dawn a gift. Can I use my hook on you to get you out of this? I can't remember. I could retract a vassal from him. I remember there, sh there should be a way for me to get out the contract. Don't know what it is with Valerians and being bold. Uh, I don't know if it's a mod I have installed that's doing this, but they just all seem to be bold. So... Maybe if I modify his contract? Hmm. Maybe... I mean, he's giving one less tax, but he like... Oh, it's, it's, his obligation has been changed already, so I can't do that. Oh, that's not because I really would not want him rising up against me, if possible, please. <laughs> Especially while I'm out on a hunt. My my brother Robert has had an extra a extra matter of affair with his soulmate Rana. How could he defile the sanctity of his marriage? My king Robert has been with uh, the real father of the unborn child of Rana. The so he it is now become clear that he has a vast of children of his own. Of course he does. He's Robert. I have gained the trait hunter. We shall finish the hunt and return home. Clearly not a great hunter since that hunt went terribly for us. Now we got a Valyrian steel sword so arguably it went great. I'll take the money because I don't want to be in debt for much longer. Hmm. I could make, uh, pat uh, patronize a local saint, do nothing, or desecrate a tomb. The two, they like me for desecrating this, this tomb? Oh, because I rejected a non-canon saint. Hmm. Uh, yeah. And we're in Duskendale and... and is Pat, what's Patch face done this time? He's fiddling around with some powers he's been picking along the road. My liege, he says. It's not a secret that my heart has found a new home. Uh, so he has a a woman he loves who's 50 years old. And Patch face is 19. Um, yeah, stay. I wish there were specific Patch face events where he talked like Patch face. <laughs> and just said like the dumbest shit. Why would I even be able to petition from... I could ask for a... You know, let's see if he will dismantle my faction. Oh, you know, because I'll have to travel again. I forgot you have to travel for that now. No, I'm not going to travel all that distance for that. Absolutely not. Oh, my maester died. That's also going to cost me money. Not great. Not great. Need a new Castilian. Hmm. Don't actually have great options in terms of Castilians here. Um. No, I have pretty terrible options in terms of Castilians. In fact, I guess we'll go for Wayland Bolthouse. Uh, and get the Marshal from him. So that's at least something. Uh, we don't want to go on another hunt. I think being back alone 
Uh, no, they could they could still push. They could still push. They want a lower crown authority, which isn't the worst. It's not the worst, but we also would like it not to fire if possible. Queen Cersei. Oh no! So Tywin died. And then Tyrion died almost immediately after, meaning Cersei is now the queen of the uh, Westerlands. Which also means that when Cersei dies, Prince Joffrey will become the king of the Iron Throne and the uh, lord of the Westerlands. Interesting. I wonder if we'll try and keep Castle Rock or not. Jamie is still alive, though. Looks like he's the only one who is alive. So, what happened? So, Ty he died under mysterious circumstances, and he was slain in battle. Who's he at war with? If you haven't played this mod, by the way, when it says uh, Tywin died under mysterious circumstances, he was killed by Cersei. Literally 100% of the time. She has a blood rivalry with him, and will um, basically just kill for that reason. And it's a little... Screwy. Though she's had the cellar, so I guess in one way she's done a job. <sighs> so here's a thought about expansion. Do we actually want to expand in because expanding in the claw would be relatively easy for us. But I don't know if we want to do it or not. That's the question. I'm thinking it would make sense to try and take the claw and then have it in a duchy underneath us or a couple duchies underneath us just to expand our power a bit. That's my thought, at least. So I think we're going to get our um, septum to make a claim on Hayeswood. Going to try and take these three and then expand that way would be my thoughts. That's the, the only expansion plans I have right now other than finding a way to take these two from the Valerians. But even that's a risky idea. It may not be wise. Uh, we'll get rid of retreat losses. Okay, let's see. I really need to hire a maester, don't I? It can wait, you know? It can wait, I believe. Do you have a claim on Macy's Hook? What's our claim for? I, I hate these claims in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Feels redundant. Yeah, alright, I will have to hire a maester because I don't have any options. Let us send for a maester. What's happening in my phone room? Patchface's condition is equally mysteriously frightening. According to a septum... Oh, here we go. This actually is a Patchface thing. A dark and being inhabits his body and occasionally manifests itself with uncontrollable power. However, the frequency and intensity of this episode is causing increasing alarm among my devoted followers. He fears the evil presence will take over and spread chaos and death among us. Patchface has never done anything dangerous per se, but my courtiers insist that something be done. What, uh, what dies shall rise again, maho mahoy, or whatever his, his line is. Uh, I need him, but he costs, why do they always cost money? I just get pushed in debt over and over by this. Um, yeah, no in position to do any of that, basically. Oh, great, and I'll get more, less taxes because I have a useless um, steward. Do I really have no one better? Lord Boris. Yeah, swap with Lord Boris. And then swap there. And then we can switch you to protect trade to use your stewardship. That's a bit better. It's not much better, but it's a bit better. Um, let's get you fixing up high tide a little bit.
This is a timeline where Stannis Baratheon has no fucking money. <laughs> He's just a broke boy. But by the looks of it, the king was broke earlier. The, king, the king's making money now, but he was broke earlier. Spending large. Oh, and now he's had Tommen. I don't know, these kids look fishy to me. I don't know about you. These kids look awfully suspicious. Holster is still in charge of the Riverlands. John is still alive in the Vale. What a chad. Uh, Duran still leads Dawn. Mace still leads there. So it's... Okay. Looks like they've given away the Westerlands. Or well, has Cersei died? What's happened here? No, so Cersei's still alive, but they've given away the title of the Westerlands to Lord Tybalt. Who is... Oh, I've been called to be Regent. Yes. I'm now the region of the Iron Throne. Absolutely. Uh, sure. But, so where's Robert going? He's traveling somewhere. He's traveling towards, uh, Larazor's Rock, to which he's Chieftain Al Aegon's Grand Tournament. Who? He's going to the Stepstones for a Grand Tournament. You don't even own the Stepstones, Robert! It's a trap! It's gotta be- Look at this, he's going all the way down here! Bloody hell, Robert! He's a bit of steel! You don't wanna- you don't wanna work with this guy. Oh, for f I'll, I will not be threatened. Rally the troops, and then, uh, let's get an ally as well, because we're gonna be losing money. Um... Let's call in Renly. Why not? Because it's free to do so. Let's call him in. I could steal a bit of gold. It will cause strife with the vassals, but I could really do with money. So I am going to do it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Robert. I love you, bro, but I really need the money right now. I'm at war. And I know you're not going to do anything to actually bloody help. Because the embarkation costs would be a lot anyway. So I'm basically going to only siege Driftmark because of the embarkation costs. Because <laughs> I don't have to embark to Driftmark. What are they planning? Oh, they want to try and land on Dragon, Dragon Mount. Oh, and they've abandoned that plan. As soon as I got there. Let's just keep him in the water. They're just going to... Are they going to try and siege Storm's End? Got no clue what they're planning there. Yeah, the Stormlands are with me. Let's let's attack them. If they're gonna be there, like My sister Royal Queen Cersei's been showing signs of pregnancy for some Wow Rob Cersei's been arrested because of the uh the affair. People have learned about the affair and she's been arrested for it. That that is a very different history. One where Robert actually found out. Uh, I don't have the gold, so we won't we won't go for that claim. Well, I do have the gold, but obviously I I, I don't want to use the gold when I'm losing gold monthly. I think we killed the entire army there, so we're just I'm just gonna go siege down Driftmark. Why not? The entire army is dead. Ooh, okay, we have a good few options at least. They have 3,000 men left. They're welcome to try and siege down Dragonstone, but I'm pretty sure Dragonstone has one of the, is one of the highest level forts in the game. Yes, yeah, so in terms of me, I, I, as I've mentioned in the last couple of videos, I've been ill. I'm getting better. I am getting better, but um, not, as, not as fast as I would like. Um, still, still struggling a little bit this week. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. It will pass. Okay, that's even now in black hole, but they're doing it pretty quick. So, even though it's, I'm sure it's not worth a lot of war score, might as well just let him go ahead with it. Pentoshi cheese. <laughs> For you, my liege, this this is the finest fusion realm. She, right. It's so good. 
let's have a look and see if we can find the truth behind the cheese. I demand to know the truth of the cheese. But uh, it's not, I'm not really a Pitoshi. It's just a lie to help sell in the cheese. I get an aged cheese artifact. <laughs> it gives me a slight health boost. Oh, but people hate me though because the cheese smells like shit. What am I going to name this Valyrian Steel Sword? That's still my question. You know, leave in the comments what you would name. Uh, what's, and give a little story behind it, like story-wise, why you think it should be named that. And um, we'll, we'll go with that for, for the sword name. I have an idea or two of my own, but they're not thought out enough for me to follow through with them just yet. <laughs> And they walked off into the sea, those random soldiers. <laughs> Never to be heard from again. Um, let's... Manage me. Why not get a tiny bit more tax? It helps a tiny bit. I think they've only got these 100 Celtic Guard troops left. The bold lord of House Celtic <laughs> He's at war with Lord Tybalt. Oh, because Tybalt's at war with, I guess, an ally of his over here. Don't think that's going to go well for them. Is he also bold? Okay, I think he's meant to be bold, though. I think he's an actual bold person, rather than the weird, like, bald for whatever reason we've been getting so far. Uh, let's, let's get our siege engine effectiveness up. Although, I don't think I have any siege engines in this army. I think siege engines should be, like, our first purchase after this they could sell some siege engines and some better soldiers okay we're at 65 and the numbers just going up and up yeah because they have it's technically the they're the attackers that they would need to siege Dragonstone, and they're in, unable to do so. 17 months. It's been good to work with one of my brothers on this. All while, um, am I still the regent? No, I'm no longer the regent. Robert's come back from whatever the hell this random thing was with the bit of steels. And now is, um... He, he's freed Cersei. He's learned Cersei cheated on him, and had three children which should not be legitimate. But he is fine with it. <laughs> Robert, you are wild, man. I guess Robert's thinking like, eh, I did the same, why not? But Robert, there's a Lannisters on the on your throne. Oh well, it's, it's giving our uh, future claim credence if we ever wanted to push Stannis' claim. No, I cannot. Mostly because I don't see a reason to. Any of you want to stay, stay behind and help us siege? Nope, okay. See you in 13 months then. <laughs> well, these Valerians are so slow. They get caught so easy. Oh, there we go. They did the smart thing. They captured the wall leader. Good job. This bandle. Now I can revoke this title, and I think I will. There we go. Hey, I think that's what was worked out for us because now we've got bloody high tide. Or well, Castle Driftmark in this case. We don't have high tide yet. Can I take high tide? Uh, they will not accept me taking high tide. Okay. Uh, empty counter position will be filled by, let's make you loyal, and get some more coin. Ah, oh, and he, he accepts his fealty, thank you. Should I take the, I can't take the counter card title unless I uh, do this. There we go. And now I'm taking your title for being a prick. 
<laughs> and now I, I, I might just keep it like this. I've got three duchy titles underneath me now. I mean, I'm earning what's is that? That's a decent bit of bloody money. I mean, I would, I'd arguably take that over um, high tide, unless high tide earns more. Uh, a little bit, a little bit more. Not enough for it to be uh, a care for me. But we're, this, this is arguably the two lords I wanted to raise up against me have done so. And I think arguably taking these properties from them does make sense to try and keep a, a, a leash on this region. Stop ourselves having, you know, uh, the Lord of Sharp Point was loyal to us so he can keep his title and can be our admiral. But the Valerians are a, and are a relic of the forgotten and now ended Valyrian period. So the two Valyrian lords have had their lands taken from them for being dicks. Maybe next time, don't fuck with the manis. <laughs> and let's do some buildings. Who wants to be my regent? You want to be my regent. Because I don't currently have a regent. I'll, I'll allow it. Just because I need to give this guy some reward for staying loyal, I suppose. The bold Lord Ellis of the Scales. Why is this guy bold? <laughs> Nobody knows, but he is. It's uh, the great mystery of Westeros is all these bolder uh, lords and ladies. I swear, my lord, I don't know how it happened. They, they just lost their hair. We will let Monford Valerian go. And we'll let Celtigar go because they are wandering now. They have claims, but nothing to actually do with the claims. And I don't want a grand tournament. No, thank you. Inspired person. A peddler in a cloak with dozens of baubles and knickknacks. Right along to me. I have a precious, a precious weapon worthy only of your hands. The mighty lance of Andal. The spear of the smith himself. You shall utterly annihilate all foes on the battlefield with this. She pulls out a tiny shard of metal, which rather looks like a sewing needle. Sell your lies elsewhere. I'm not falling for that. A book, though. Hell yeah. I'm going to pay big money for a big book. About how I'm, how I'm the best soldier ever. And everybody loves me. <laughs> My lord Stannis, you... You don't believe this tiny little shitty spear is legit. I, I promise it is. I paid good money for it. Lord Ronnet's Hunt. I mean, he's close, but I don't see a need to hunt right now. I do have the... Uh, yeah, this is for uh, tourneys, and then you also have hunter here. I, I do like this feature. I, I like... It makes sense, and it means that it makes sense to go to different multiple, um, like, tourneys and tournaments now. I want a book to be educated or useful military. Hmm. I'll allow him to make the topic. <laughs> to the gods, to my wife, or to no one. I could do with a bit of piety. So we will do, devote it to the god. It's happened again! It's happened again! Robert, you gotta stop this, my brother! <laughs> Prince Simon! <laughs> Robert, all your kids, you haven't had a single kid worthy of the Iron Throne. Oh, at least Lord Tybalt looks cooler now. Lord Tybalt went and got himself a cape. What well, can I get a cape? What are my cape options right now? I want a cool cape. That is a cool, that's equally cool capes right there. Maybe different color would be perfect, but. I do like some of the cape options you get in this. That, I mean, to be fair, it's for the gold cloaks, but it, like, fits a Baratheon colours, right? I think for now I'm going to put on this purple cape. I think it looks cool. And nobody is going to stop me. <laughs> Spouse mediates with Riverlander brother. Is that a uh, Lord Titus here? Yes. The Lord of the Dice. Guy loves D&D. &D. Can't stop playing it. 
Another inspired person. Um, do I need a sculpture? I don't know if I've got the money for a sculpture, do I? It costs 72. You know what? Fuck it. Look, we're just trying to live a fun life here. <laughs> right now, we don't have... Um, we don't yet have a reason to put, pursue any major goals. So we're just trying to live a life. Be a, be a worthy man. Make a name for ourselves on um, Dragonstone. We don't have enough knights. Uh, I can invite some knights then. It's a faction against Robert, is that? This one random dude in the gauntlet is starting a liberty faction. That's going to go so well for you, my guy. I can just tell. I'm on your side, even though I'm standing all the way over here. On the other side of the room. Another 50, but it'll be higher quality. Sure. Put me in debt again, why don't you? You love just sapping money from me. Yeah, bastards. Okay, here we go. A disillusion faction. Bloody hell. That could be bad. Let's hope it's only the Greyjoys involved in that, then. New martial lifestyle perk. Um, let's see. Captain Effectiveness. A hunt in high tide. Um, apparently I'm not actually invited, though. Oh, no, that's an incredible book. My, oh, my. Where are we going to put this? So it does not go on a pedestal. What does it go over here? It does. My book on warfare. My massive book on warfare. Everybody's so impressed by my massive book on warfare. I hear tales of a, a mighty lord with a mighty book. Let's be friends with Titus. Why not? I could make a... I'm not going to make an alliance with Joffrey just because of what may come in the future. But Joffrey is the Lord of Casterly Rock. But he does not actually own Casterly Rock. Casterly Rock belongs to Tybalt, who is his, like... I'm trying to figure out what the relation would be here. He, it's just his, like, second cousin. Or maybe not second cousin. I guess it... No, it'll be second cousin, like, twice or three, three times removed. I, I know... So much about Game of Thrones a lot. I know fuck all about uh, <laughs> how you calculate your family members. That's not my field. Yeah, I think we've definitely improved our position having um, both Crabs Return and Castle Driftmark now. Uh, definitely, definitely uh, got rid of some. Um, mainly, we got rid of the powerful factions beneath us, which definitely help. Why? Do why does Lord Roderick have in sixty eight percent of the power needed? He has fifteen k, and the Iron why does the Iron Throne have twenty two k? Robert, everything okay, big man? <laughs> Get those troops up. I guess it only it literally only counts as Crownland troops. That's not great, Robert. And Cersei died. In Sh she died in childbirth, and he's just not getting remarried. Probably because he realised that marriages aren't really worth it. Again, this one stupid claim. But I don't need. I don't need to declare war for that claim. Oh, my 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 wife is pregnant with child. Wonderful. A knight has arrived. Um. Oh, you want to blackmail me, Lordy Alia wants to blackmail me. And you go, fine, have your weak bloody hook. You'll use it to make a stupid contract change, which won't change anything. Um, these these letters are always very weird. Um, we've I always discovered recently in, in, in one of the games I'm in that you can use those poems to basically ruin multiplayer games. Um, so you have to be really, really careful with those. Because you can just kill characters with stress by sending them poetry over and over again. Oh, and now we have a statue for our court. So let's put down our statue. And he wants to make... Bloody hell! Well, that's one of the super rare ones, definitely, yeah. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's one of the super super that rare ones where he, you do occasionally have this where a character will come in basically and they just have a super rare, or they're like an incredible artisan. So he would have made a fantastic sword for me. It costs me a hundred and seventy though, which I just do not have. And then this one wanted um, hundred and eighteen for his. No, so his inspiration would be nine hundred and twenty-five, and to recruit him would be hundred and seventy. Like, what an incredible dude. But I don't have the money. Thank you for offering those, sir. Is that a statue of me? No, it's just a statue of a Baratheon, I guess. Um, yeah, absolutely invest in Driftmark. I trust you. And that gives Driftmark um, five tax and five development. Wonderful. So yeah, we just have so many uh, inspired people coming to our court. And our court's a pretty decent level now. It's Court Grandeur 6. Which I don't think I'm paying... I'm not paying it super, super, super a lot. I could increase the food to get it up above 7. Uh, what does 7 give? No, it's just an increase. I don't really care about those ones. They're such a, a minor increase compared to the rest. So we'll worry about that another time. Look at that. We're earning money. We're earning big boy money now from our properties. This is what I was hoping for. Start the session not earning money. Now we are. Now we're able to get stuff. But then obviously the question is going to become about this Valerian Steel Sword. What the hell are we going to name it? Because it's Westerosi specifically. A West, it's a Westerosi Valerian in terms of culture. He even says as such. The, currently, he is the only um, Westerosi Valyrian left after I got rid of um, Keltigar. House scales. The weight of justice. Oh, oh no, she used a weak link to force... Actually, she's not a bad cancer, actually. You know what? I've had some terrible people force themselves onto my council and pass, so I will... I guess I will take that. Yeah, let's get this claim on Hayeswood here. How weak... Like, Hayeswood's so weak, right? I should just declare this war right away. It just feels like I should. Just get myself a bit of extra land. It'll cost 43 to land. It'll put me in debt to land, but it always puts me in debt to do anything. Seal away. Because I already have Shireen, don't I? Look at that. Edwin, Edwin is growing up. Edwin's got hair now. Wow. Edwin is turning out quite decent, and he is my heir. I don't think I want to look at a wife for him yet, though. I think I want to wait on um a po any possible, like, wife. Do I have a good cancer? Hmm. I don't have any great ones, no. We'll keep it as this, then. That's unfortunate. Somebody get one for the money up, but it's fine, it's fine. What I should have actually done is switched Jordan temporarily to this one for the fleet movement speed. Uh, or is it, is it not embarkation cost? Or is that only with that one? Still, supply is a pretty good skill of itself. We've managed to get up to 8,000 troops though. So we're, we're still not at the levels of an actual Lord Paramountcy. Like, as you can see, we're looking at 20k here. Other than Dawn, who, who's got 21k. So 21k is the highest from them. I mean, the reach was going to be that anyway. So actually, no, compared to compared to the Riverlands, we aren't that bad. Riverlands and Westlands were basically similar on power, actually. And what have we here? Now, this, I think, is what people have been waiting on. So let's have a little read of this. One inauspicious night, you were left alone in your study, mulling over your reports and the details usually left to lower men. Suddenly, your door cracks open, and without any ceremony, a woman walks in. She wears all red, her hair is fire, and she speaks in a deep, strange, mel melodic voice. She's beautiful, alluring, and for a moment, you wonder if, there, if you may not have fallen asleep. But when you blink, she's still there. The red woman tells you of a prophecy of a lord of light. And a name you recognize from lessons long ago. Azor Ahai, the wielder of Lightbringer, born amidst salt and smoke, and the savior of the known world. She whispers in your ear, telling you that the time has come 
for you to finally achieve your glories. To fulfill the auguries already seen in the temples as far away as a shy. All you need to do now is seize it. And I think that is the perfect time to end this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. And whether or not this offer will be accepted, you guys are going to have to stick around and join me in the next episode. I really hope you guys have been enjoying this Stannis series. I'm loving it. And uh, make sure you check out the first episode of the House uh, Valis series, my new CK2 Harrenhal series, which is starting up. And keep your eyes out for other extra content I have coming up. Let me uh, Leave me a comment. Let me know your love. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then... <laughs>